What's up everyone out there? It's your boy SETI, a SETI Knows Tech. And today we're gonna to take a look at the new laptop that Microsoft recently released, the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go. And to answer the question, can this machine game? Can this laptop play games such as, you know, triple day titles and things of that nature? So sit back, relax, as we look at two games in particular, League of Legends and Overwatch, and to get an idea of what that performance is while playing these games on this machine. So before we get into any of that, you know what time it is. Cue my intro. So recently Microsoft released their latest laptop which is called the Surface Laptop Go which for basically for all intent purposes is a smaller Surface Laptop. And it comes in a variety of colors and configurations basically being on um, one color is um, it's like a blue, what is it called, um, ice blue, sandstone and platinum. And it comes in basically three configurations. It's the um, they all come with Intel i5 processors, 10th generation. On the lower end, that starts at 550. It has four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, non-SSD. And on the upper end, it comes with um, yeah, like I said, I'm um, still an Intel 10th gen i5 processor, but comes with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. It doesn't have a very strong um, GPU in it it's just an integrated graphics card so you know the purpose of this video is just kind of show what this laptop can do from a gaming standpoint but I really don't expect you know that you know there be many games that can be played on this because it's not really a gaming machine but we'll take a look at it so the configuration that I have here today that I'm testing all this on is the one that I have highlighted here it's the platinum colored um, Intel i5 tension processor like all of them 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage and that's SSD storage so we're gonna look at two games in particular we're gonna look at um Overwatch and I closed it by accident League of Legends and um and the reason why I'm choosing these two games is that these are two very popular games that a lot of people still play um, League of Legends is indeed a an older game, but very still, but very much still popular. So you know, I thought I figured it would be relevant to kind of show this game. It doesn't require as much um, GPU as something like uh, Overwatch, but I want to kind of show a game where you know, moderate GPU maybe, depending on what kind of settings you're trying to set it on, and then Overwatch. I set League of Legends to um, a medium setting first, so that we can kind of you know, um, look like, look at things such as FPS and just how smooth the gameplay is. And then with Overwatch, we'll take a look at that and see what that will kind of like. But we'll start with League of Legends. So let's I we did some pre-recording of some gameplay for us to watch. I can actually pull it up. Here we go, League of Legends. So let's take a look at how League of Legends performed overall and see how well this surface laptop perform um so as you can see um display wise is, is very beautiful the display on this device is actually very nice for the resolution that it's set at it's not going to be the most highest you know and most pixel dense type of display but it still looks very good um I'm, I'm, I'm holding steady at uh, FPS, uh, frames per second, above 60, going anywhere between 60, 65, and even like 70s, in the 70s. So that's pretty good, you know, considering that this is a very portable, non-gaming laptop. Um, it's very, the, the gameplay was very smooth, didn't have much problems, you know, with that. Like I said, this game is not the most graphically, graphically intense game, so I expected it to play somewhat decent, and so and you know so forth. I, it's been a minute since I kind of played this game, 
Um, Once so it's a like ruin, a I can legally loot it. Yeah. Yeah. Enemy has As you can see, I'm um, playing the game at 1536 by 1024, which is the kind of regular resolution, native resolution of this display. And I got it set to medium settings. I probably could move it up to a higher setting and still get some pretty good FPS a second. Because right now on medium, I'm getting like right now 77 high 60s to high 70s. And that's on medium gameplay for this. So League of Legends played, you know, very, very well. Um, didn't really have a problem with League of Legends playing. Um, now we're going to go over to Overwatch. And Overwatch is another very popular game that's on PC and, you know, across multiple platforms. Um, but Overwatch is going to be a more graphically intensive game where because it's got it's really 3D graphics compared to the kind of, you know, I'm not going to say lower kind of lower graphics, but just the type of um, the graphics that's on League of Legends. Um, Overwatch is going to be kind of more in your face, 3D shooter fast-paced multiplayer game so it's going to require more resources and so forth like that and let's just kind of see what League of Legends um how that how I fared in my playback of um, Overwatch so traveling to Volskaya in I'm gonna be right up front um it was a lot of lag in this game from a graphic standpoint to a point that it was almost like you know this is just like a selection screen and even now you can even see that the graphics are very the graphics are, that are automatically set much lower um and you know that so it basically set on lower settings and i just kind of let the game kind of choose this resolution that it felt the best but no matter you know what i try to do I was doing a lot of drop frames, um, just kind of low of textures, and anytime I did anything like engage with that, um, the enemies or with my team, it was constant stuttering. Let's shoot for a new high score. So, yeah. So, basically, in a nutshell, this is telling me that, you know, while League of Legends is a great, it's great, and it can play, you know, fairly well on this machine, anything that's kind of that push the, the boundaries and resources as the legends. Like right now you see I'm just trying to shoot the, the shoot the regular just fire. And it's lag, yeah, it's lag. So it's, it was just a, it was just a big lag for this machine. Um with 3D games. And that was to be expected. This is not a GPU intensive um, computer. It's not built for gaming at all really. Um, League of Legends fared well, but anything past that, it's gonna, you know, right now I'm st stuttering real bad. So this is definitely not um, a game that you're gonna be able to play those type of games with, these 3D games and stuff like that. But you know what? No, it's not meant for that. So we got, like I said, you gotta kind of be real, really realistic in your expectations with these type of devices. They're not built for gaming. They, they were built more for basic computing and basic tasks. And then, yeah, I got owned in this game because I could I didn't even aim my you know my my guns at my opponents because it was just a big lag fest. So in a nutshell, that's what it is. So can this computer game? Yes and no. It can game to a certain degree. I'm gonna say mostly no. I'm just gonna say if you buy this machine for gaming, you will be disappointed. If you buy this machine to be able to do basic tasks. Things such as maybe like Netflix, schoolwork, um, Zoom calls and meetings and things, Teams meetings and you know work from home stuff that's not really game related. I think you'll be happy with this machine. If you buy this machine for gaming, you will find out quickly. One, it's just not enough space and resource to even remotely think about that. And two, the the GPU on this this device is not capable of pushing you know three type games. Yes, League of Legends played great. I agree, but League of Legends is also a very is also a lot less processor intensive and GPU intensive than something like Overwatch. So it just depends if you're if you're a big legal uh, League of Legender, and that's and that's your primary game, then you might be very well happy with this computer because it can play League of Legends fairly well, and you I think you'll be happy with that. But anything past that, and maybe past some two D games and so forth, you know, just don't put this on your your wish list for computers. While it's a nice computer, it's built nicely. It is really a computer made for basic computing, 
basic tasks and things like that. So, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like if you like the video. If you enjoy this kind of content, please um, support the channel by subscribing and hitting that hit the like button, subscribing, and also hitting the bell icon so you know when I push more content to the channel. And again, thank you for your time and watching the video. And as always, stay geeky, stay techy. Seti out.